Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a small size dog sweater. This is also a sweater that can be used for a large cat. Okay, now this is very basic. I'm just going to show you using a ball of variegated yarn and we're going to start that in just a moment. Hi everyone, Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are making a small dog sweater and we're going to be making a basic dog sweater. So it's also a sweater that can fit a large cat. Now I'm going to use a variegated yarn. It's four ply worsted weight. Um, I'm going to use a size five millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. And to embellish it, you might want a couple of buttons, a couple or three buttons. So to start, we are going to chain 70. So for me to chain, to start my chain, I cross my yarn over and I pull through. That's one, two, three, four, and you get the rest. So chain 70 and meet me back. Okay, I got my 70 chains. Now without twisting them, I'm gonna attach to that very first stitch. Okay, with a slip stitch. I'm gonna chain up two, one, two, and then in every stitch after, I'm gonna do a half double crochet. Now, my chain up two, I never count as a stitch. Well, okay, I'm not gonna say never. I'm not counting it as a stitch for this sweater, okay? So to do a half double crochet, you go yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over through all three loops, yarn over into a stitch, Pull through, yarn over through all three loops. That's a half double crochet, okay? So I want you to do half double crochets around. When you get to the other side for your first row, you're going to attach into the chain two. So right here. For your next row after that, you're going to attach into that first stitch. And the reason I do this is so it prevents my stitches from going sideways. And I don't know why they do it, but they do it. So always count your stitches. You want 70 stitches, not counting your chain two. Okay. And for one row, you go into the chain. The next row, you go into the stitch. Next row, chain. Next row, stitch. We are going to do a total of 15 of these half double crochet rows. Okay, so you do that and meet me back. Um, but I do want to tell you one thing, totally unrelated. I have, I have an Etsy store, which I'm sure most of my viewers know, and I make jewelry like this ring. I also make all kinds of other things, knitted, crocheted, sewn, um, paper, all kinds of different crafting things. So if you want to go check out my Etsy store, in the description, I'm gonna put a coupon for 10% off using that link. So go check out my Etsy store and if you decide to buy something, use that coupon and get 10% off. And my Etsy store is just Little Gems Creations one. Okay, so back to this. You're doing a basic size small dog sweater. You are doing half double crochets around and around for 15 rows into this, the chain for the first row, 
stitch for the next, chain stitch, chain stitch. Do that, meet me back. So I've done my 15 rows. Now I'm going to join into the chain, which is what I ended up with. Okay, so now we're going to chain up two. We are going to pick up 40 stitches, okay? So all half double crochet. We're going to do 40 stitches. And then we're gonna work back and forth on those 40 stitches for eight rows. And what we're doing here is we're just forming the back. Okay, so 40 stitches back and forth on just those stitches for eight rows. And then I want you to meet me back, okay? Okay, and we don't count that chain two as a stitch. We're only counting stitches, okay? Great, do that meet me back. Now I've done my eight rows. See, here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right. Okay, I pulled my loop big. I'm gonna cut my yarn. But I'm not, I'm going to put my tail through my loop, but I'm not pulling tight. I'm just pulling it too, just gently so it doesn't unravel, okay? Now what we're going to do is along the inside here, we're picking up 30 stitches, okay? So we'll chain up two. The chain does not count as a stitch. And we're going to pick up 30. Do that, meet me back. So I have 30 stitches now. I'm going to chain up two. Now this is the chest part of the sweater. So we're making the leg holes. And what we want to do is we want to decrease to taper that inwards. So that there's not a whole bunch um, bunched up for the chest area of the dog. Or the cat for that matter. So here's how I decrease. We're gonna de decrease at each end, okay? So we're gonna go in, grab our yarn, yarn over, go in the next stitch, grab our yarn. We have five loops. One, two, three, four, five loops. We're gonna yarn over and go through all five loops. So that turned two stitches into one. Now we're gonna count. So this row will have 28 stitches, okay? So that counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If you haven't had a chance, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Nine, ten, and if you want notifications of when I do a new video, hit the little bell. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, but that little bell doesn't always work. Fourteen, fifteen, so what you want to do is come and see me because I do a new video every Thursday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, oops, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. 25, 26, so this is stitch 27, so the next one, sh I want it to be the last, so we have to make these two stitches into one. So yarn over into the stitch, pull through, yarn over into that next stitch, pull through, 
five loops. One, two, three, four, five loops. Yarn over, go through all five loops, and that made our 28th stitch. Chain up two, turn your work, and you're gonna do this back and forth until you're at 18 stitches. Okay, so do that and meet me back. I said to bring it down to 18 stitches, but you actually need to bring it down to 16 stitches. So decrease until you're at 16 stitches. Once you've done that, you are going to slip stitch into your back into the chain two. Okay. And then chain up two and make you look big. Now going over to this one that I said not to pull tight, we're gonna undo that. Make the loop a bit bigger. And we're gonna slip stitch into this chain. Okay. Then we're gonna pull our tail through a loop and this time we're pulling tight. So see what we've done now is we've made the little armholes. So we should have, let's see, we had 40 across the back and we just did 16. So we should have 56 stitches, okay? So now we are going to do the neck. Just one sec. Sorry about that. Okay, so we are gonna go round and round like we did on the bottom. And we are gonna do this half double crochet. And we're gonna do this for four rows. Now, just like before, we're going to go into the chain, go into the stitch, go into the chain, go into the stitch, okay? So we're doing this for four rows and count your stitches okay you don't want to have more than 56 stitches so do that four rows meet me back i did my four rows one two three four and now i'm gonna snip my tail and pull through the loop and here we go we have our small dog sweater. Now, if you want to know the dimensions of this one. Now, this one was made with a five millimeter hook. So this one is 10 inches at the ribs. It is 10 inches long and the neck so I guess 10 inches, when I say 10 inches at the ribs, that would be 20 inches around, right? And it's eight inches at the neck, which would be 16 inches around, okay? So that gives you an idea of what my finished product came out as. If you wanted to make it just a bit smaller, you could go with a 4.5 millimeter hook. If you wanted to go just a bit bigger, you could go with a 5.5 millimeter hook, okay? I wouldn't go less than a 4.5 for this weight yarn, and I wouldn't go higher than a six millimeter hook for this weight yarn. So hide your threads and then this would be the back and I was thinking maybe some nice buttons or something like that to just, you know, add a little something or you could just leave it blank like this. So that's it. Um, don't forget, I do have an Etsy store and I make jewelry, things like this ring. I also sew, knit, crochet, all that kind of thing, and I sell my stuff in my Etsy store. So in the description, I'm gonna put a coupon. Anyone who watches this video 
and uses the coupon link will get 10% off of any purchase they make in my store. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the little bell to find out when I make new videos or just come and check it out on Thursday. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.